Hello everyone, my name is Devrick, the Mixed Gamer here today, and I'm going to be bringing you some more Destiny gameplay. Um, I've been playing Destiny for, I want to say, at least 20 plus hours now, and it's been pretty amazing for me. You know, of course there are those people out there who are going to say, they're going to bigger about the little things about Destiny, but when it comes to me about Destiny, this game is pretty much perfect, you know. Um, as you can see, already I have two classes made, I have a level 10 Hunter, and a level 16 warlock, but I mainly use the warlock because it's my favorite class. Still gonna make a titan, but we'll get into that later. So today, what I'm gonna be doing is playing on my warlock and actually playing this raid for you guys, or the strike, I should say, that I unlocked uh, yesterday when I turned level 16. So, without further ado, let's get into it. It's over here in the Vanguard, which is a strike playlist, if none of you knew that. And basically, there's a, just a giant list of strikes. You got this one, this one, and I'm assuming this one is the Vault of Glass because it said that Bungie said they were not opening the Vault of Glass until the 16th. So I'm assuming that's what that is. I'm not sure, but it, it feels like it is. So we're going to get into it. It's called the Vanguard Eagle Strike, and we're going to see how it plans out. Actually, yesterday I did this because if none of you know, strike missions are no joke. I'm telling you this right now. And, um,. Basically, yesterday, I was doing a strike mission on Venus, which is right there, and it was uh, the strike mission, if you know what I'm talking about, to the top left of the planet, and you have to fight this um, this fallen chieftain priest who's like in this pod that pops out, and the mission, I want to say, took us 50 minutes to beat, but half of that time was taken to try and kill him, and he had so much health, it was ridiculous, like, it was... Oh, and my teammates kept dying left and right, and I had to be the last guardian standing at least like 10 times. I had to go rescue their stupid selves because they don't want to not die. It was crazy, though. It was really, really hectic. You know, the dump truck guys here don't make too much noise today. But, yeah, it was crazy. The Devil's Lair. This is the quest we gotta do? The Devil's Lair? Hmm. I'm assuming when it comes to these strike missions that you just get a random, you know, you get a random thing to do, you know? I'm not sure. Are these stri I'm guessing these strikes are random. I'm not sure about that. I have to get back to you guys on that. Because I have already did the Devil's Lair, but it, it's given to us to play. Maybe it's like, it's a, um, it's a higher level Devil's Lair. That's probably what it is. I'm assuming that's what it is, you know? So I'm thinking all the strikes that you have played, it's basically going to give them to you, but at a higher level. So that makes sense. I can dig that. This damn knight, where are my other teammates at? Why are you over there, guys? You know how to do Devil's Lair. Why not being noobs right now? You want some of this, boy? You grab those peppers, boy. Ooh. Ooh. Man. This little biatch. Hold all those shotgun rounds to the face. Where's the other biatch at? Hey, you. Where you going? Bang. Oh, damn, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I was about to start shooting at it with no ammo. Ah! How's that feel? Yo, you guys are taking way too long. I hate when people... This is the only thing I hate about fire teams. Since you can't talk to nobody, they want to just do whatever the hell they want and take forever. That shit annoys the hell out of me. Like, seriously, guys, just come on. Let's do the freaking strike. You're taking way too long just to be doing a strike. Like, come on. They coming? All right, good. And I'm just going to show you my, my setup right now. I have some rare stuff on. So this is my setup right now. So if you guys want to see. And I have um, Sunsinger on. Because I, I, I just got it yesterday from turning level 15. And I'm thinking when you get level 15 on a character. Now hear me out on this. I don't know if this is true or not. But, because basically what happened yesterday was I was playing as my Hunter. My Warlock was already level 16. I, I laid off my Warlock for a little bit and got onto my Hunter 1. Played her a little bit. And... Basically, when I played on my Warlock, I mean on my Hunter, it's, I, sw I, I was going to click on Blade Dancer to see what the, um, what happened? What happened? Error. Error? Are you serious right now? Wow. An error. Looks like we're going to look for another one then. Okay. I'm not even going to stop the video. I'm just going to keep going. So, it's, I clicked on Blade Dancer, right, and it 
actually changed the subclass. I didn't say it was locked or anything that you got to get at level 15. So I'm assuming when you get level 15 with a certain character, all the rest of them could just switch to that other subclass that you got to level 15 for. I'm assuming. Because my hunter's only level 10, mind you. So that's what I'm thinking, you know. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know yet. I'm not 100% on that, but it feels it it feels like that's how it works. I'm not sure, but I, that, that's what it feels like. But yeah, Blade Dancer is awesome for the Hunter. Just, it's, to me, if you're playing Rumble, or if you're playing Control, actually, and you have Blade Dancer and you're supercharged, I would say that that is the most OP supercharge you could have. Because you could just... With a blade dancer, swipe, swipe, swipe. Spread up on somebody who's hiding and trying to take control of a flag, swipe her ass. Swipe his ass. It's just OP as hell, just like the golden gun. Those are the two most OP attacks. I'm sorry. It's just so OP, it's ridiculous. Like, oh my god. It's just terrible. Alright, see, so yeah, I'm assuming, yeah, I was right. So basically, when you do a strike, it just gives you the random strike you've already done on a certain planet, except it's a higher level. That makes sense. Okay. What kind of throw was that, Deverick? Holy shit. Just threw it over that. I was trying to throw it at them. I still gotta get used to throwing grenades in this. It's more of a... Like a... It's not a toss. It's more of a... You know? It's like... It's weird. But, yeah. We'll get there. I'm gonna be playing this game non-stop this weekend. And it's gonna be amazing. Kill them all, then. Go ahead. Alright. Okay. So, this mission, I don't remember what you have to do, but it's on the moon, so it's going to be hive-based, so... There's no telling how far down we'll and I don't get how people are trying to say this is like Halo and Call of Duty and Borderlands, like... This feels nothing like those games, like, even the story, people trying to say the story is shit is like Halo and stuff. I, I'm pretty far into the story, I'm on Mars right now. This story feels nothing like... Halo at all. Like, it's so much different than Halo. But what the weird thing about the story is, it's weird because the guard oh my god. Oh, but don't swipe him though, right? That's that's fucked up. But the story the guardians don't seem as important to me. Not to me, as the guardians just don't feel that important. You know? Like, in a in a sense that they don't feel important because usually who's talking in the story is either your ghost or another character. You know, and it's not usually your guardian talking. Like, it's like everyone does the talking for you, you know? And usually, like, a main protagonist character, you know, would be doing a lot of the talking and asking questions. But apparently, the guardian doesn't give a shit about questions. It just wants to do whatever it's told to do, you know? But I don't know, you know? I'm not done with the story yet, so I can't really say on that. But so far, the guardian doesn't say shit compared to what everyone else has to say, you know? But, I don't know. I'm wondering on how the story is going to play out. Need to get through. I really am wondering because it's really interesting on in how this is all happening right now. It's basically, you go to the moon, the hive have this piece of the traveler that, you're using, that they're using against it to weaken it. Then you go to Venus, and the Vex are, um, I forgot what the Vex are doing, but the Cabal have this, are, are in hold of this machine and all this other, it's crazy stuff. I have no idea where it's going and going to lead into the story, but I I really can't wait. I really can't wait to find out what it's going to turn out to be like because I want to know what the story is about. I really want to know what the hell the traveler is. You know, I want to know what the hell the traveler does. Like other than you know, what how they say about the darkness and all that good shit. Like who? How did the traveler get here? What is? What else can the traveler do? You know? Bam. What? Die. What? Bit? What? What? Oh, thanks for letting me waste my ammo, you dick. Ooh, something green up there. No, Knight, leave me alone, Knight. Knight, leave me alone. Knight, stop. Move! Knight, stop. Knight, stop. Oh, hi. Take that superheated grenade, bitch. And what's also cool, I don't know if any of you guys have played the mission yet, but on the moon, it's on this exact um, place, there's a sword over there that, is, that you could actually use and fight against the hive, which is pretty freaking awesome. It's it's crazy actually. It was actually very fun to do that, but fighting those freaking princes was ridiculous because they had super health. And they would freaking like one hit you and all your shields would be down and be like, man. 
Come on, knights, I'm hiding like a little biatch. What's good then? Come here. What's good then, baby boo? Get up out of here. I shot him in the booty. What you gonna do about it? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? You ain't gonna do shit, knight. Come on. I just think though that at, at least all of the um, enemies in this game have are at least, you know, they're very well balanced and very well um, generated in a sense that, that none of them are the same at all. None of them are the same. Whoa, 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm too good. But none of them are the same. Except to me, and this is just me, but the, <laughs> the Fallen kind of feel like elites a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? They kind of feel like elites, just a little bit. You know, not a whole lot, but they remind me of elites. You know? Oh, 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 oh okay. Thank you, wizard. Asshole. Can someone come pick me up? Maybe you, Merciless Nobody. His name is Merciless Nobody. Pick me up. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I ain't messing with the wizard. The wizard knows his shit. Dude, I'm a warlock. Yeah. <laughs> Damn! Why are you not aggroing on anyone else? Like, jeez. There's like two other people you could be killing right now. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Is it? <laughs> Holy shit. No, I'm not getting cut by that thing again. Ooh, he got fucked up. What the hell are you gonna do? What? Die, bitch. Damn. Knights is OP. Get away, get away, get away. <sighs> you fucking serious? First the knights want to freaking aggro on me, then the little bitches want to run up on me holding their arms like they're in straitjackets and explode. Like, that's always good, right? Damn, man. What the hell? Dude, why am I, the, like, literally the only one getting aggroed on? Like, seriously. I don't even know what aggro means. It basically means the enemy is, base, is just, like, only looking at you the entire time, which is what the hell is happening. Rifle. Can I maybe get picked up? Anyone? No? Thank you. All late. Damn, I have no special ammo. That's always a good thing, right? Okay. Okay. See if we get aggroed on again. We probably will. Knights that have those like, like, I don't know what the hell those are, grenades. They just, I like the freaking knights that just have that little purple gun that shoot the little purple bullets out. Like the ones that shoot those grenades are just, it's so overpowered. It's like, god damn. And then this wizard's being a dick over there. I wonder what the strike boss is gonna be because it's probably gonna be OP as hell. Hi, how you doing? Great, he's fucking dead over there. I don't know how we're gonna be able to get him. I like how it's just knights left. Like, it could be nothing smaller. It had to be all knights, right? That's always great. Are you sit? Oh, okay, I was probably like, they better than both not be dead. Learn to protect your ass. Alright, where are they all at? Come on, you're dead. Great, he gave him a power up. That's always great. Come on then. Ow. Chill, 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 chill the hell out. I got you, buddy. I'm coming. I'm coming. God damn it, leave me alone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. God damn freaking wizard won't leave me the hell alone. Not even doing nothing to him. Let's see what the Sun Singer's all about. Ooh. What, what's supposed to be happening? Die! Okay, I got him. Yes. It's about time. Now. 